Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are here in Void and Medler for more adventures with Finn as we pursue the old punk. We are upstairs in Le Jeté, which is the club. We got past the bouncer last time. We also took a ride on the subway last time to look at all the different places in the city. So now let's explore this area. We have this, the steward. Let's see what else we have. The steward seems to have a tail. Weird. Okay, computers. We got audio cables. Uh, what else we got? Translove memory. Cool. And a broken mirror, a VIP area. And I'm assuming we can't go back there. Okay, fine. Let's go start off to the side and see where, where uh, our adventures will lead us. Let's talk to the steward first. Right? Yes. Okay. What do we see? We call him the steward. I've never seen him before, only his hologram. He never leaves his desk. He's the guy who manages everything here. From his monitors, he can control the rate at which the machines give drugs and alcohol to the customers, and any door, camera, sound, or vibration in the club. Better not bother him. I don't know about that. I'm here to, <laughs> I'm here to fix your screens. Steward. Mm. Okie dokie. All right, now, let's look at the computers. And screens, wires, heat, this is the perfect place. Uh, can we use these screens? Don't touch it! Okay, all right, so the steward's gonna get all angry. Can we grab it? Too much stuff, okay. Let's look at these audio cables. It leads directly to the sound system on the floor below. I wonder what would happen if someone hacked it. Well, we have this thing, right? Our, like, sound pedal board. Uh, the, th the sound pedal from the board we had in our apartment. Can we do something? Then I'm pretty sure the club sound system can handle my octaver. Let's see what it does. Cool. Whoops. The steward. What's happening downstairs? These people give me the shits. Whoops. We get rid of the steward? Oh, sweet. Okay, now we can use his computers. Let's see what happens if I push this button, and this one, and this one, and this one. What happens? Nothing? Come on. Screens, wires, heat, this perfect place. Come on. It's already open. Is it? What's already open? Dispenser. A dispenser. You can get tiny bottles of all sorts of alcohol, blood-flavored condoms, shit-flavored ones are out of stock, uh, oh my god, infected needles, and popcorn. Never forget the popcorn. Uh, can we use it? Who wants to try? Uh, we do? Can we grab something out of it? I don't need any of this crap. I mean, I'm with you, but... Blood-flavored condoms? I mean... Oh, we brought down the... Awesome, we brought down the VIP area. Look at the mirror. My reflection and a dirty mirror. Both are cracked. Can we grab the mirror, maybe? I don't use mirrors. No? Can you talk to the mirror? Talking to me? Are you going to keep going, or is it just the, the one? Okay, talking to me? No, she doesn't. Okay, fine. It's just It's just the one line. Hello? Yeah, I'm totally allowed to be in the VIP area, Lady Sun. Is there anything else? No, but this area gives me a huge... I mean, this whole game gives me a huge Blade Runner vibe, but this, the slatted windows, right in there. Lady Sun, she's been in my life for a lo as long as I remember. What do you mean, so not that long? <laughs> she supplied me with what I needed when I woke up two years ago, and by that I mean drugs. Okay. Hey, lady. Lady Sun, surprised to see you, Finn. I thought we made it clear last time when we threw your ass out. You're not welcome here anymore. But you know what? I've always loved that I don't give a damn shit, goddamn shit attitude of yours. And seeing as you found a way to reach me here, I won't mind if you sit down for a moment. Finn, oh right, of course. Take a seat on my couch and tell me all your relationship with your father. 
Show me on the doll where the bad man touched you. Lady Sun, just ask the shrink for antidepressants. Then I need something strong tonight, you know, to get closer to myself. You always had anything I needed, so I thought... Lady Sun, you've already experienced everything I could give you. You've been through every altered state. For any price you could afford, I have nothing new to give you. Then can't you do a little mix? Fix a mix, as they say? Lady Sun, nobody says that. I'm not selling you anything tonight. What you need is a way to get deep inside your soul. I can give you this as a gift from a friend. Then it doesn't look edible. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Lady Sun, it comes with this little note, but you'll have to figure out how it works all by yourself. Then, hmm, thanks, I guess. What did we just pick up? Hold on, hold on. What did we pick up? A microchip and a manual. Can you read it? No. Can you do something with a microchip on yourself? No. We have to figure out what it does. Can we... Tra like, do we have to translate it? Oh, there we go. Finn. Hey! Same glyphs on both. They could help. Yeah, that's it. Analysis complete. Transmitting data. Zero percent. Chip provided with color-sensitive sensors. Transmitting data, 33%. Chip equipped with mind-hijacking software. Really? Transmitting data, 66%. Chip fitted with localization program linked to prefrontal cortex. Transmission complete. Remember, for maximum results, subject must be cooperative. Then, seems like some things never change. All this confusion of sounds, frequencies, and noises has really brought me down. Far, far away, you know what they say? Hard reality and soft alternatives. But now, I know how to use the chip. Let's get back to work. Cool. So, microchip unlock. Lady, you got anything else? Go now, before I change my mind. Okay, we're out. We're gone. Doesn't really super help me in tracking down the old, uh, punk. Hello? There we go. Um, do we want to take our Octaver? Nothing for me here. Oh, come on, but your, your thing. Turn it off. I can't do anything in this circumstance. Okay, fine. All right, I guess we leave in the club, right? Because that's already taken care of. That just controls the VIP area. So let's go downstairs. Yep. Uh, is there anybody else we should talk to down here? No, I think these are the people that we all spoke to. Okay, let's go outside. Yeah. All right, let's go outside, and then I guess I don't know. I guess we have to revisit the subway stops, right? Because I mean, we're done here, so we got the microchip unlock. That we might have to use that on the old punk. Right? Because he's got, like, pure memories, and if this thing can jack into people's heads... Yeah, we did everything we needed to do here, so let's go to the subway. Um... Old 55, uh, eh, whatever. Moore. Moore had goo. And nobody else. Let's quickly look to see if somebody's, like, in this little... ...tunnel-ish area. Remember, there was nobody there. Except a couple of posters. There's still nobody there. Okay, fine. Get back. Uh, let's go... The other place I, we should probably check out is that sushi place. Uh, in Enki, I think? Right? The sushi place where we used to work or where, you know, we were told to come back in an hour. Right? Lethal sushi. Alright, so let's run over here. And then the only other place I can think of is that place with Mr. Robot. Right? The broken... Hey, let me in. I'm hungry. You're always hungry, Finn. I can't let you in right now. The place is a ma okay. So this is about this is exactly what we saw before. I'm just gonna try and flip through this. Okay, go back to the subway. Still wants us to come back in an hour, so I'm assuming that's a place we'll go to later anyway. Uh, Stole Arm is where Mr. Robot was, right? Let's go check that out. Hmm. 
Okay. There's something we missed. We may have missed something. Maybe. Let's talk to Mr. Robot again, maybe? Mr. Robot! Hello, friend. No, no, no. This is the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm just trying to flip through the conversation here. Uh-huh, said the weatherman. Fine. Very neat. Paradise regained. Did we miss this place before, or was it not open before? This is the thing with the, like, the crazy sign that says, Live fast. Um, what is it? Live fast, play loud. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out Paradise Regained. Arcade games for kids, but not exclusively. Prepare your eyes, this might sting. Ooh. If any of you are fans of Rick and Morty, there's like Blitz and Chits. <laughs> also, Out There, which is another Me Close game, and we also tried it out. There's like a one-off. Right, it's too early now, but soon this place will be crowded. All right, let's see what we can see. A nuke. Uh, spit on me. That's Jan. Out there? Question mark. Rez, D, and Paul. Rockbeat, and then I'm assuming Wings of Fire. Okay, so let's talk to Anouk first. The bartender. Sorry, force of habit. I mean the owner of this place. Okay, what's up, Anouk? Anouk, welcome to Paradise Regained. Want to relax or to vent your frustration? We have what you are looking for. Finn, can you provide me with something for a better, deeper, stronger life? Anouk, hmm, a trick question. Let me look at my list again. Finn, surprise me. Anouk, I may have something for you. It comes from my personal stash, but I can't sell it. The IRS is watching me. Finn, I'm pretty sure we can find a solution. Anouk, okay, good. I, I don't know why, but I trust you. This will be our little secret. I'm a collector of intimate objects, one of my many little peccadillos. They all formerly belong to celebrities. If you find a special item to expand my collection, I'll give you what you want. Then deal! Interesting. Okay, let's see if Jan maybe has something to talk about. Jan, he doesn't seem very good at this game, poor kid. It makes me want to beat his ass, but not tonight. Jan? Hardcore, I like gamers. Hardcore! Hey kid, think you're hardcore? A hardcore gamer? Jan, uh, what? Can't you see I'm playing right now? Finn, if you call that playing... Jan, leave me alone, bitch! Okay, what happens if I tell him, think you're a gamer? I lo or, I like gamers. Finn, I really like nerds, you know? They turn me on. Jan, good for you! Finn, oh, come on, let me touch you. I don't bite. Jan, I'm not really in the mood right now. Plus, I'm playing, so back off. Jeez, okay. That is not the reaction I expected. <laughs> uh, out there? Question mark? Finn, I never finished that game, but it did give me dreams. You want to play it? If I start a new game right now, I'll probably fail. I'll be angry and I... Hmm. Believe me, you don't want to see that. Okie dokie. Uh, let's talk to these people. Then kids. Not really unusual in a place like this. Okay, but do they talk? Raz, I really thought bringing Jan here would, would take his mind off his girlfriend. Paul. He says he feels like the loneliest person in the world since she left. D. But he'd rather play alone at the VR station than spend time with us. Okie dokie then. Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire, that reminds me of something. Huh? Do you want to play? Cool. Okay, so. I guess we lost or didn't continue playing. <gasps> it's the old punk. No game, no fun. Finn, it's him! The guy from the Night Owl! I can't approach him like this. Um, we want to talk to him, maybe? Hmm. He's playing pretty violently. Maybe not a great moment to strike up a conversation. Okay. 
Power socket. Ooh, do we dare? Let's take a look at this. Do we dare unplug his game? Finn, it's a power outlet. Is it fun? I, I don't know. <laughs> you mean that's like a game? Okay, so what else do we have? A toilet. Toilet? Nice toilets, all dressed in blue. Um, use it? I don't want to use it right now. Okay. Is there anything else you want to tell me about it? Nope, just that. Okay, let's see what happens if we unplug the power socket. Hey, you ever had this dream where you steal something and two minutes later you die? No, not really. Okay, is this it? Staff, hey! What are you doing? I mean, trying to unplug it? Okay. I need to distract this. I need to distract them, distract them, distract them. Um, what do I have in my inventory? I have a rubber ducky. I have synthetic food, a knife, fanzines, Roland S flavor. Is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Because that guy, the, um, is it Anoush? No. Anouk, that's it. Said that he likes, like, celebrity stuff, right? Is it this? Then one day maybe, but not tonight. Um, do we need to dump it on something? What if we dump it on... Rubber Ducky. Finn, gross. A disgusting smell. This must be an intimate object. <laughs> Works for me. Smelly Duck. Here, take the Smelly Duck. Anouk. Finn, it belonged to the mayor. Uh, I guess it should do the job, yeah? Sniff. What a smell! If you bring me anything else like that, I will surely go mad. Oh my god, it's so good! Here, I keep my promises. Take it, but never breathe a word to anyone. What? Finn, let's see... Pfft, more stuff that makes you go woozy. I'm jinxed. Uh, so what do I have? A drug. Microchip unlock, old fanzines, and knife, synthetic food. Well, let's... So, our big thing is we need to distract the staffer, right? Um, we can also just drug this guy. But that's not as interesting. Because the staffer's probably still going to see us. What if... Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's see if they'll allow me to do this. Right? Staffer needs to clean up a mess, right? So what happens if we block up the toilets? Then, adios amigos. I never even had the chance to get to know you. Oh my god, yes. Hey, Staffer. Get over here. There's a mess in the toilets. There we go. Staff. Oh no, please not again. dun 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 Okay, yep, yeah, you take care of that. Can we just jam this in his head? He said no. Okay, fine. No, disconnect his game. Hey, buddy. Finn. Hi! Old punk. <laughs> Finn, please, I need to... <sighs> okay, you're too kind. Don't ever change. This dirty old man won't make it won't make it easy. No, he won't. Which is why we're gonna jam this in him. That's right. Finn, white on white, translucent black capes, back on the rack. I've had this song stuck in my head since I saw that guy. Thanks to the translated instructions, I was able to activate the cell. Now all I have to do is plug it into someone's brain, and it will directly transfer the information I need to my brain's data center. Here we go. Endorphins released. Subject in 100% altered state. Prefrontal cortex localized. Data transferred 33%. Subject starting to hallucinate. Data transferred 66%. Subject's short-term memory is being replaced. Data transferred 99%. Subject has been put in artificial coma. Transfer complete.
Uh... Finn. At first, they didn't understand. Everyone said I was as smart as a whip. Still, my grades, my grades kept going down. <laughs> That's a... The thing sh playing in the back seems like a reference to They Live. Anyway, uh, kept going down. I said I was bored, and God knows I was. It was so clear, so simple, so dumb. I could never pay attention to stuff like that. My mind was floating in a higher place, traveling at the speed of sound. My parents often fought because of this. To my old man, I was a useless dreamer, just like your mother. A good for nothing. Nobody wants you. You should never have been born. To my mom, I was something precious, something rare, something she, something she had to hide from the rest of the world, jealous and mean. She was the one who had me pass all those IQ and EI tests. She was right. I wasn't like other kids. My brain didn't work like theirs at all. Different connections, faster and brighter, links between everything were so simple. Colors, tastes, ideas, numbers, feelings. Everything was connected and part of a gigantic spiral, and I was one of the few who were aware of it. Then, are we unique? Are we here? Are we friends? Who am I talking to? I hear someone knocking in my head. Bad blood, cold blood. There's wind in my veins, or is it noise? Love in veins, someone's moving here. I think we fucked. The drum, no. My heart, 240 BPM. I'm, I'm sick, slow motion sickness. The film is fading into reality. Real to real. Ah, uh, now I can see, and it's disturbing. What was that exactly? I'm home. I'm kind of lost. Seconds ago I was someone else. I, I, I can hear another voice in my head. The only one. It was clear and pure. Nothing like the dirty mess constantly buzzing in my mind. That was intense, radical, extreme. I, I feel again. I, I want more. I heard that memories don't die, but we clearly do. Hello. Sophie. Uh, you know what? I get the feeling that we should probably wrap it here, because this seems like it'll take some time to re-explore the room and talk to Sophie and find out whatever the heck Sophie wants. So let's call it there. If you guys uh, like this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this game, you think I'm overlooking something, you think uh, I should do something differently, or you just have thoughts in general, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time.